Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 113 of this Let's Play Prophecy of Pendor. In the previous episode, we gathered some more troops, and our centerfold garrison is now over a thousand men, so I'm a bit happier about that. We also changed our colour to this lighter blue, so hopefully we can differentiate a bit better between us and our enemies. And we can actually, you know, see the background so we know exactly how many troops we actually have, rather than the dark blue colour clashing with the black of the box. It does mean that we have a very similar colour to the Vanskaris, although there is a difference. So if we kind of look closely, we will see the difference between them. The other item of big news is... We are at war with Ravenstern once again. Kingdom of Ravenstern declared war to Grey. No, they didn't. I declared war on them. <laughs> okay. If they want to take the uh, the relation here, whatever, fine. We did lose some relations with our lords, but it wasn't overall too bad, and I think we're going to do pretty well out of this one. They are still at war with Sarleone. Sarleone, I think, has been doing a bit of damage, hence Fenbrae has fallen. So we're going to try and grab Staghart and Iron Oak uh, before the end of this war, maybe even Ravenstern itself. If we can spread further over, then we will. We do have more men to play with this time, and we have spent some time training everyone up. So I think we will be able to do quite well. I do have two other things I want to talk about very quickly. I've had some really useful comments, actually. Uh, apologies if they seem to be one or two episodes out of sync. Like I said, I do pre-record stuff like two episodes in advance now. Uh, just to give myself to time to render and get everything up and basically keep to the uh, schedule I've been trying to establish. It also gives me a bit of flexibility to go to the pub and stuff like that rather than having to record every day at these hours. It was just getting a bit too rigorous for how I like to live. So the first one was Tommy A. Hugo, I think that's how you say the name, which was basically saying that when I was talking to a lord, and I wish I could show you what I meant here, I, I'm not going to though because I need to raise an army to actually fight this war, um, I've been using information... Ah, no, it's, it's in here. Hang on, I can show you. I can show you. So if we take Baron Leofric, for example, it says his uh, relation with Liege, minus 16, who he likes and who he dislikes and all of that stuff. Report is 257 days old. And now that I thought meant was the last time I've seen him physically on the map. No, it's not. That is actually harkening back to when I accidentally sent my companions out on what I thought was the right to rule, but it was actually their spy mission to basically get this type of information. And now apparently when you speak to a companion, so we take TF for example, because I'm going to guess he's going to be the one that we want, uh, ask you something, connections we can use to our advantage. Adopted parents aren't getting younger, I'd like to pay them a visit, and I happen to know that he is from Ravenstern, so he is likely to bring us information on Ravenstern, the faction Ravenstern. So we're going to send him off to get some more information so that we know which of the Ravenstern lords are unhappy and that we might be able to recruit as a result of this war. I think that would be very, very helpful. The other one was from Jerry Banks. And that was... I'm always kind of running around wondering what I have under construction. I'm never really entirely sure. Apparently there is a way of seeing it. If you go into the reports tab and then the view location income, and then view construction report, and it tells you precisely what they're doing. So Sam Safford, for example, no construction. I'm not surprised by that, because I don't really want to invest in it, it's too far away. But everything else is currently building stuff, and in fact, Uslan with their skilled craftsmen, those are probably repairs rather than actual constructions, um, are done fairly soon. So Uslan and Shapist, we will need to start investing in again shortly. However, I have basically no money with which to do that, so that's not going to happen immediately. Before that, though, we need to raise an army and basically choose where to attack. And actually, before I raise the army, what I think I will do is make myself the marshal once again, so that I can actually get these lords to follow me into this war. Or I might just let Jocelyn do some himself. Now, if Jocelyn t takes a place as the marshal, does he take that thief? Or is it unassigned until I assign it? I'm not sure about that. So what I might actually do is let him raise an army and do some fighting himself. Unless I need the troops, of course, in which case I will... Ah, I probably will need the troops. No, we're going to try and really slyly just hit one of the other places and nick it. So we are going to grab a bunch of armored bowmen. We're going to grab the armored axemen. We get some rangers. 
get some more armored bows. And we are going to... Yeah, we need the berserkers for sure. We'll take 30 of them. This is a siege army, not a fighty army. I need more melee troops. I'm going to leave the uh, Pendor foot knights and black archers for the time being. Remember, I can upgrade those to silver mists if I feel the need. We do have silver mists and halberdiers here. Ooh, that's a. We definitely need more shield troops. Who has good shields? Yeah, I see, we needed more of those guys. It's the uh, Pendor Bladesman. They have, they have shields. All right, we'll take the Pendor Bladesman. And. Let's have a look down here. Pikemen don't legionnaires do. Legionnaires are excellent shield troops. Very, very strong at that, as are the Sarleone men at arms. Okay, cool. So we'll just grab enough men at arms to fill the party, and that is the army that we are going to use. Okay. This probably isn't the absolute strongest that we could get. Like, we could go with a bunch of Pendor Foot Knights and the Pendor Silver Mists. I was going to say Pendor Blacks, but we can upgrade them. Um, but I think we're going to kind of leave that for the emergency. And there we go, Jocelyn is raising an army. I would kind of like to know where he is. Eva sold. Oh, he's down there. Alright. We'll head over, we'll join the campaign, and then we'll probably just leave it. <laughs> uh, how's the food supply? Food supply is a little bit low. So we may stop off in Mason just to grab some more foods. Buy supplies. You, 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 you. You and you. There you go, peasants. Have some money. Who's that? See, now here's the problem. Is the Vanscaries look really similar to our colour. And we are in Vanscari territory, so that could prove a problem. That's Bodice. Does that mean Jocelyn's around here somewhere? Are you going to Jocelyn? No, nope, you're attacking brigands. Where is Jocelyn? Is that Jocelyn? There he is. Hi, Jocelyn! Now I'm actually just going to separate and do my own thing. No, I'm going to go and go for Iron Oak. Are they going for Iron Oak? No, they're not. They're just going to stand there. He's probably waiting for uh, Sigmund to arrive from Hrothgar. Sigmund has rather further to go. So we are going to besiege Iron Oak. Hopefully these guys will come and support me. Though not entirely necessary, because it's actually a fairly low-level garrison. It's a big garrison, but quite low-level. No one needs ladders. Stay close. Lead an assault. Are you joining me? You're not joining me, are you? Ah. Ooh, this might be tricky. Mm. Let's go infantry there and archers there. In fact, we probably want to keep the infantry back because we have so many non-shielded troops. It's actually kind of a poor siege army I'm using here. Wow, this is going to be a real pain to take. Alright, let's leave the archers there. The infantry just at the very top of this. And now it's time for us to start plucking away at these guys. We've taken a lot of casualties in the opening of this battle though. Wow. Maybe we should have just stood back and fired, rather than trying to close the gap. Probably was the better idea. Oh well, our archers are now making an absolute butchery of the enemy. But we could have done with taking out more of their archers from further back. Oh, I made a mistake as well. Stand closer everyone, please. The infantry I want standing closer so you can actually, your shield guys can protect each other. The archers I want standing closer so we have more people in firing positions. Alright, now we're getting the upper hand. Yeah, we should definitely have opened fire from further back. That was a mistake. I had not quite expected this castle to be putting up quite so much of a fight. I mean, I knew they had a big garrison, but they were all kind of newbies. How many did we lose? 50, just running up. 
a quarter of our army. How many of those are dead? 24. Not as many dead as could have been. In fact, they have another arch tower. Man, this place is ridiculously strong. Go infantry, do your thing. The archers are kind of running low on targets. I mean, they can still hit those guys, but other stuff is a bit more difficult. They do mostly still have arrows. Mm, yeah. Our infantry. Need more shield troops is what this siege is saying to me. Definitely need more shield troops trained. Let's see if we can kill a few of these. Oh, hi. Didn't realise they'd retaken the breach already. Did not bring nearly enough infantry to this fight. Not nearly enough shield infantry, that's really what I'm lacking. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and get up to that tower. How do I get there? Through here? There's those tower troops that are doing all the damage. So time to go a bit commando here. And no, not that kind of commando. Filthy minds. Oh, hi guys! Stop shooting my archers. And my men. Cleared. <laughs> and now you know what I can do. I can use their position against them. Shooting in the back. Sorry about the clanking there, I have a teaspoon in my teacup again. I should really take that out before recording. I just feel that Earl Grey is in order for this particular fight. Are there still troops shooting from above me? No, I think it's people just shooting up. Alright, fair enough. Let's get properly behind them. I, mean, I could probably be doing better damage if I was actually, you know, down there with my sword. But this is an opportunity to train up my crossbow skill, hopefully. It's not like I really need to aim. <laughs> this is the easiest firing position I've ever had. It's great. I don't get any skills though. I think we are slowly but surely winning. Oh, I've killed 48 of the garrison. See, I I'm done enough. I I'm okay. Yeah, we've definitely taken this one. Costly though, really costly. There we go, 340, we're 10 away. Is that it? No. Hi. <laughs> did I hear the plank in front of him? I think I did. There we are. One. Two. 
I'm going by the chair we just won. Wow, this is a real pain of a keep to take. I love it. It's mine now. And 71 dead. That's really painful. Take the captives. We will take the farmers. We will take the raiders. Take the longbows for sure. We will take the refugee. I think everything else will just leave. And this is when you really want another lord following you so they can take the other troops. Oh well. Good amount of money though. Like I said, war is very profitable. So we are almost certainly going to have to venture back to Senderfall. I'm going to defer appointment so that it gets a garrison. Now, this is something I just need to save and test because the development team want to get some feedback on this. So this is one of the tweaks that I installed, which is basically allows you to build chapter houses even when you don't own the land. So yes, I can do that. So I guess this will only update when you actually have the money and the ability. So we're going to have to leave this like for testing purposes, plus the fact I don't actually have anyone that I really want to give it to right now until we are, until we have another Lord that we want to come on, send it all higher or grab or, you know, give land to. Plus I'd quite like there to be a Griffin Knight order there. I could give this to one of the companions actually. I'll need to dig up my list of companions that I want to give this land to. I'm in no mood to deal with brigands, so I'm just going to bludgeon you. Yeah, if you miss, that's your really tough luck. Anyone else? You attack me in my capital outside of my castle. Of course that's not going to make me very happy. Right, let's sell this stuff. Yes, we made a nice amount of money from that siege. Plus, you know, gaining a castle. Little minor addition. I'm well impressed by that castle, actually. He had a well good defence. Very, very cool. Not a tavern? No. Right then, managed garrison. Ooh, we have a husk car. Sweet. And another halberdier. Not that we really need halberdiers. Longbow, Pendle Recruit. In fact, what I could do is take a bunch of those Manticary Raiders and put them in that castle just so we can hold it a bit better. Uh, we should have a whole ton of them around here somewhere. Where are you? There, 92 of them. Wow. That would be a lot of Manticaries attacking. So, how much money do we have? 14. I would like to have 30,000 before I actually establish a Griffin order there. So I think what we're going to do is grab another army and then immediately try and hit Stoutheart. Opening stage of this campaign has gone pretty well though, I'd say. So, manage the garrison. We are going to drop a bunch of you back. Silver Mist Rangers took a beating. So did the Halberdiers. Oh wow, the Axemen did too. Everyone just took a beating in that one. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. Actually, I probably want some new berserkers before I do that. Uh, I'll just take the 20. I definitely want some new Vacavia Royals. Do I want more pendant armor bows? Yeah, I do, because they're my main archer unit right now, I think. We'll go with the 43. Uh, Pendor. No, oh, that was all the Bladesmen, wasn't it? They are high level troops. Legionnaires. Ooh, they just suffered a lot. We want more of these guys, though. Salio and Men at Arms. We should have a fair number here somewhere. There they are. Shield guys. Definitely what we need. And we'll drop off guys that were wounded. Uh, we'll drop off the recruits. All right, so that is the troops that we have to play with. We should have some more solid and longbows. We do. We 
could actually take some Vanskiri Raiders. They're really good shield troops, actually. That's not actually a bad plan. They might be really strong in sieges, thinking about it. I know I've been kind of, like, dismissive of them, but they might actually be really useful. We'll take a group and see how they function. And they're not too expensive either. So we'll stick you at the top of the list. We'll put the halberdiers and the other two-handers at the bottom so they appear in the reinforcement line rather than the first wave, which was a big mistake I just made. Likewise with the berserkers. We will have the blademen there as well. We'll have the armoured footman at the top. We'll have the silver mist up there. You up there. You. You. I think everything else is fine. Yeah, something like that is okay. Drop you in the... T keep. Garrison. Prison. That's the word. And I am also going to buy some more food supplies, because I'm a little nervous that I don't have very much. Like so. In case we have like a lengthy siege. That was actually really cheap food. Excellent. Alright, let's go to Stoutheart and see what we can do there. Medium-sized group near Shapist. Maybe we'll go and kill them as well. Rothgar. Who's this? Jocelyn. Yeah, we can definitely go after you. Craftsman at is done, so they'll be repairing. Snake Cult Army. Come back! Minus nine. Alright, let's slaughter them. Well, renowned 23, really. But I outnumber them. Advance. They're charging. Um, yes. In which case... Yep, they are. So, get into position, people. Chop, chop. <laughs> they saw me getting into position and ran away. Archers, hold your fire. Hold your fire. Get into position. Come on, people. Let's go. Archers, let's put you a bit further back. Infantry, we'll put you a bit further forwards. Thought I told you to hold your fire. Count the infantry, that's... Are you all in... Wait, what is going on here? Archers, back there. Go. Okay, I have no idea what's going on here. Because they're just totally ignoring my orders. So all of you, charge. Taking huge casualties because of that. Okay, I have no idea what was going wrong there. They're just not listening to me. And they're not in formation. I disabled that at least once. If not more. Weird. Why were they not getting to position before? Oh, this is the guy with all the arms. Oh, great. Just the battle I needed to have where my troops are not obeying frickin' orders. Stop shooting me. Would explain the high renown. <laughs> Better not lose this now. Sorry, I'm always looking at the stats rather than the actual battle. I don't care about <laughs> like watching people fight. I know how they fight, but for you guys it's not exactly as entertaining. So we'll move up a bit. The olds are going to do a number on archers. Oh, that's really irritating. This is what happens when armies do not listen to their commander. They get butchered. This should have been a relatively easy fight. Now I'm going to have to go back and get another army together. Ah! You did it eventually, idiots. <laughs> we should no way have had that many. No way! Uh, you are definitely my prisoner. Alright, 
back to Senderfort to get yet another army. Grr. That better not have cost me this campaign. No, that's not good. Heretic army launches a surprise attack on Valambre. Now, whoever's at war with Dashar, you should cash in on that opportunity. Oh, man, I suffered so many casualties there. Um, let's get some more of these handscarries. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. There you are. Oh, that'll do. No, I'm not upgrading them to warriors. Um, uh, that's really irritating. If you cannot tell by my voice right now, I'm irritated. Uh, armored footmen, I think they were down here, weren't they? That was all we had. Great. Except they're actually lower level than I realized. Uh, armored bowmen. These are the Pandor. I think we'll just get rid of the bunch. You stay. Could actually get some more Ravenstone Rangers. That's fine. We, I know, have a lot of Acavia Royals. So that was fairly easy. They're actually hardy. They've done well. It didn't take too many casualties. Legionnaires gone. Solion men at arms. Solion. Now, this is where a filter would be really, really handy. Sully and men at arms. Get rid of them. I know we have more longbows. I think these longbows are going to be the majority of our army at this stage. One, two, three. So we're going to stick you at the very top. With the raiders. Oh, so many casualties. Okay, so we have shields, bows, shield, bow, 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 shield, shield. Berserkers are taking a beating as well. So many injured berserkers. At least they're not dead. Uh, do we have any more silver mists? Uh, not. Yes, we do. And we can fill the gaps with the pendulum at arms. Although they're not shield troops. Ah! I think we'll have to take them and hopefully they get promoted. So we'll get rid of the injured ones, and then grab a... Ah, oh, Kier Guards, of course, Kier Guards. Totally forgot about the Kier Guards. Alright, you're my shield guys. Congratulations. Welcome to the army, and all that. Alright, no, oh, no, Bladesman. Uh, where are the Men at Arms? We'll grab Men at Arms instead. All two of you. Fantastic. And Leslie's wounded, so we definitely don't want to fight a battle until Leslie's back. <sighs> so irritating. Uh, Uslum was... no, we're not going to build anything in Uslum. That would be silly. Are we still recruiting? We better still be recruiting. And we'll go to Mason in a minute. Uh, castle, and then it's you, I think, that I need to give the orders to. Yes, you are. I'm going to put that baggage train in my chest. All right, onwards. I just need to make sure that Leslie is healed up this time. Eh, you've seen me coming. You and your 40 men. Is Conrad the one that likes us? No, it's Stephen that likes us, I think. And you're still wounded. So I still my, no I did not. Mistake. All right, you got away. I need to make sure you sell the loot. Otherwise, you won't be able to take any more. Stay tuned for more awesome common sense tips from Mordred Viking. Actually, let's chuck these in the prison. Rothgar, we could ransom. Probably should ransom. 
So you apparently do hit like a tank, which is somewhat unfortunate. Conrad's hitting Mason again. You are way faster than I am, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> so we're... No, they took Fenbray back from Sarleon. All right, we're going to Fenbray. That'll be an easy picking. You can burn Mason, I don't really care. I think that was one of my lords. Goldtooth. That's a former Feard's Vein. Yeah, that's a small garrison. So Fenbray will be the next one to fall, but we'll do that next episode, I think. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this series. I certainly am, so I hope you are as well. If you have any tips or advice, then please do keep those coming, as you have seen from earlier on in this very episode. I do definitely take them to heart, and they are really useful, so do keep those coming, please. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.